Jerry James Stone, and you're watching Cooking Stone. On today's show, I'm going to make old-fashioned marshmallows. Now, the thing about marshmallows is they're not vegetarian, unlike me. So, it's kind of, I don't know, I'd almost say it's a bit hypocritical that I eat them, but I don't eat them very often. It's maybe something that I eat like once a year at most. And I feel if I'm going to eat something like a marshmallow, that at least if I make it myself, I can, I know what ingredients are in there. Like, I've looked into the vegetarian and vegan marshmallows, and they're so filled with preservatives and other weird things that I don't know what they are, that I almost feel better just going with an old-fashioned traditional recipe. So, I'm going to show you how to make an old-fashioned marshmallow today. The first step in making marshmallows is to soak the gelatin. So, we're going to take two packets of gelatin here. We're going to add one half cup of water. Now this is sort of like a science experiment. This is going to gel up and it's going to look pretty gross in about just a few minutes. Um, so add your water to the gelatin. Make sure it's mixed in there nice and well. And then we're just going to let it sit. Next we're going to combine our sugar and water. As you can see, the gelatin and the water have completely solidified. This is not this is not coming out of this bowl anytime soon. Now we're going to add the gelatin to our sugar and water mixture and bring that all to a boil. And this stuff is pretty disgusting. Once it boils up, we're going to remove it from the heat. We're going to add our salt, vanilla extract. We're going to add our Combine sugar, water, and gelatin to a stand mixer. And we're just gonna let that mix just on low for a bit. This is just to start removing the heat and then once it cools down a bit, we'll speed it up. And when it's ready, it'll have doubled in size and be nice and thick and it'll look like marshmallow cream. Now we're just gonna pour that marshmallow cream over our layer of powdered sugar. Once the marshmallow cream is dried, we're just going to go ahead and now cut this into marshmallows. You can, I mean, you can do whatever you want. You could use a cookie cutter and cut out circles. Or you could cut out funny little shapes. Enjoy.